Hello and welcome to sim.bc where it is 7.09, it's just 10 past 5 and I am pretty tired, I can honestly say. I'm, or I'm not tired, I actually slept for 8 hours which was so great. <laughs> but I slept until 2.30 in the afternoon because we were out yesterday yet again with the networking trying to connect with the other students at the school and was out until like 6 a.m. in the morning. I said before we went out, oh I should be out until 1 a.m. maximum because I've been feeling kind of sick lately. Uh, but yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, so we were out until 6 a.m. and that included running like two kilometers in the rain, in the pouring rain because it was like just a storm just hit the fan and we were like, no, this is crazy. But so I ran in the rain and singing, you know, when you really exhaust your throat and a lot of dancing and all of that. But not only did I do bad decisions that were really fun, <laughs> if you think about getting better, but I also tried to work on my linguistic skills, like my French, for instance. Uh, and this is something you should do if you're if you are an English speaking person, like by the way, so your native language is English or your native language is something else, but you know English, you should totally go, and I totally recommend this, you should go to a country where they don't speak English, because it's so amazing to know how powerless you are when you're not able to speak the language that you're comfortable with. I mean, you can be all high and mighty uh, at home saying like, oh, they, those people do it like that, and uh, we do it like this, and have a we and them thinking, like a, that kind of mentality until you go to that particular country and you will more understand their, uh, their culture because you will get into it and you will realize just how hard it is to actually uh, communicate without a language and how powerless you actually are uh, which is really cool actually it's kind of frustrating but it's also kind of amazing so I totally recommend you to do that uh, and I improved my, uh, <laughs> my French or improved and improved Maybe I've said this before, but I studied French for six years in middle school, high school. And, uh, well, uh, language is something that is fresh, you know. You can't, if you don't use it, it goes away. Uh, so it was really interesting to, like, rehearse all the things that I know I knew uh, a couple of years back, but that I didn't know now. So just getting all that back, actually trying to have a conversation in French, even though it wasn't really going that well. I kind of needed to use my English as well uh, <laughs> at times, but I think I got through it. And now today I uh, spoke with some uh, people on Messenger on Facebook and I could actually write French, which was, which was crisp. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about it. But you know, taking it in small steps and all of that. Anyway, to the thing is I wanted to talk about today and that is business ethics because if it's something that everybody likes, it's ethics, right? A good moral dilemma, a good ethical solution, a good ethical problem, right? Because no one's right and no one's wrong. <laughs> because it's up to opinion and opinion always changes. Anyway, so I was thinking about how do you navigate the gray area because there's usually a very black and white feel to when you discuss ethics even though that is not the case because many people say that oh if you believe in this that means that you have to not believe in this because they don't interact for instance if you say that uh, I'm pro-capitalist for instance that means you hate uh, communism that might not be true you might see the positives and the negatives in both of the sides but you just prefer capitalism for instance or you prefer the other one Communist, but those are two very diff uh, different ways of seeing it. Economies, economy, for instance, the economy. Uh, and some people, when they hear that you're pro one side, they automatically think, oh, then you must hate the other side because you're pro one side, which is not necessarily true. And that's why I'm thinking about and talking about this gray area because that is actually what all the ethical problems are. They're just huge gray areas that overlap. Uh, all the positives and all the negatives are usually just discarded because people think that you're one side and against the other, as I said. Uh, but then it's really interesting to know, uh, or rather, you should really keep in mind, uh, as Stephen Fry said, that you don't mock anything you can't appreciate. And I'm paraphrasing here, I don't really remember exactly how he said it, but 
There was something along those lines. So if you can't appreciate something, then you shouldn't mock it. Because if you and if you equally as if you're not invested in it, then how can you criticize it? If you don't know anything about it, how can you discuss it? I mean, of course you can discuss something, but you shouldn't mock anything that you don't have any knowledge of. So, for instance, I can say that, or, or it doesn't need to be knowledge, but it can be admi admiration too. For instance, I can say that in the U.S., uh, people are too lazy and uh, they are doing things really badly, and the economy is crap, and the the president is not the one I would have wanted, and all of that. But I can say that because I still appreciate the country for what they've done. Uh, the freedom of speech, the freedom of the country overall, uh, the huge power they have been over the last couple of years. Like I can still appreciate the U.S. That's why I feel like I can uh, <laughs> not mock them, but like kind of say things against the country. It's the same with my own country. Many people think that since you're from a country, or since uh, if you are belonging to an ethnic an ethnicity, so like an ethnic group, then you can mock that group because you're a part of it. So that means you mock yourself. That means it's okay. But that's not necessarily always the case, and people are always discussing and debating that, and I'm not going to pick a side on that because it's too hard to discuss in just such a short video. I would probably need weeks with interviews and a panels and go through this. But the thing is, if you if you can't appreciate something, yet again, and I'm just going to re uh, <laughs> restate the same thing, if you can't appreciate it, don't mock it. It's really important that you think about that. Because in order to resolve an issue, you need to be able to discuss, right? And more times than not, uh, both sides need to be able to tell their side of the story and fully as well, without being interrupted or having their emotions or actions assumed. So let's put this into a business context with the three minutes we have left. Uh, let's say that you're a, you're a manager, right? And two people come to you, they have their problem. And one person say, oh, uh, jo uh, Joan did this and that. And the other one says, no, no, Bill did this and this. Uh, the best way of actually resolving this issue, since it's an eth uh, ethical issue most of the time, because this one said something and the other one said something back, uh, obviously if it has to do with business, it might be, uh, might be something more aligned with statistics and figures. But let's just say that it's a... It's a personal problem that they brought to work, and now Bill and John, they uh, they have this problem, and you, as the boss, should uh, should resolve it. The best way of going about this is letting them tell their story, right? Without you, the manager, assuming what they do, how they feel, or what their actions, uh, what implications they had, and this is something that is really hard because if I talk, if if Bill, for instance, says that, yeah, I. Uh, I'm really angry with uh, John because he stole my pen. It's really easy for you to assume that he stole it for no good reason. Uh, but then you talk to John and John says, well, I stole his pen because uh, he actually took it from me by mistake. It wasn't actually my intention to steal it. It was my pen to begin with, so I just took it back. Uh, and then it's interesting to see that he might have been uh, feeling offended that this is even an issue. And Bill says, oh, I know I actually screwed up because I don't remember. Too, but let's just say that the guy who thought that the pen was stolen uh, from him uh, is uh, maybe feeling very, very unappreciated. Like, how can you not listen to my side of the story? He actually stole that pen. I didn't take it from him to begin with. But it's very hard, easy to assume that one party is right and the other one is wrong. This might be connected to some other deeper issues, and it's really important that you resolve this as a manager without. Without thinking about, like without, oh, what's the word? Without, uh, without assuming, yeah, without assuming actions or emotions that the two parties might have, which is unfortunately a really common thing in today's business society and in society overall that people are just assuming people's opinions with that and not listening to them. And that's also a good thing that if you have an ethical dilemma and someone comes up to you and you think that they have a, something that's really whacked, like a perspective that you don't agree with at all, the best way of resolving that and show others that this is not such a good perspective is letting them talk. Because if you let them talk, other people will hear that, oh, it's not really logical, this is not that right. <laughs> but if you just keep interrupting them, people might help that side because they think that you're the jerk. And then we're back to assuming things. 
So in an ideal world, you don't take an emotional side with something you haven't experienced. But as I said, time and time again, unfortunately many people do. And that was a bit about how oh, ethics and business ethics probably. Uh, I can probably have a video about that too, about marketing and air pollution and all of that, the sustainability in the environment. That was actually what this video was supposed to be about, but you know, that's a topic for another time. Uh, so have a nice day guys. Bye.